Time now to check out the action from the New South Wales men's two as Bankstown City met Central Coast FC. And the first chance of the game came on 18 minutes. Bankstown's Grant Lynch combined well with Brima Kamara and Chris Gomez before drawing a good save from Central Coast keeper Blake Tuxford. Then Bankstown's Hussein Yasli had a great chance just before half time, but he skied his shot from the edge of the area. It was Central Coast's turn on 55 minutes after Trent Bahagier was brought down by Bankstown's Ko Kimura on the edge of the area. Lewis Pazanich's free kick was quality, but Dion Shaw saved well. Bankstown would have another chance on 59 minutes. Todd Halloran's cross finding Gerard Afue, but he put the ball over from close range. And Central Coast were reduced to 10 men on 67 minutes, and Lewis Pazanich was given his second yellow of the game after a tangle with Bankstown's Dean Heffernan. Bankstown would take almost immediate advantage. Kokumura heading in a free kick on 70 minutes to make it 1-0. The Central Coast would almost equalise two minutes from time. Trent Bahagia's cross from the right found Adam Woodbine, but Shaw pulled off a fine save to preserve the lead. So full time in this one, Bankstown City hold on, Bankstown City 1, the Central Coast nil. Yeah, look, as I said, they're playing against an experienced side and a good team, and as I said, we'll come, we come here confident, we thought we could get a result, and you know, obviously we huffed and puffed a little bit early on and had a couple of half chances, and you know, to be fair, so did they, so yeah. Yeah, look, as I said, they've done really well. I said, I'm beating in six or seven games now, and Leo's gone and playing well, and they've said, experienced A-League boys at the back and stuff. But yeah, when we went down to 10 men, we felt we were just starting to get in control of the game a little bit as well. And then obviously going down to 10 men, we had to change our formation a little bit. But it's the stuff we've practiced on the training paddock. And they said, the chance came in the 88th minute or 89th minute or something to get us back to 1-1 and maybe take it extra time. Unfortunately, Keeper made a good save for us. And uh, yeah, fair game to them. Great result, Leo. Just the one goal in it, but... There's no question that you dominated the game. I'd say so. I, I think uh, we came here today with a plan and um, with the experience and knowing that, you know what, we played them twice, we knew what they were about and we were always confident. Um, I was confident with the team and, and I think we did dominate. We had the better of the chances, but it's been like our, our season, you know. I think that if we put them to bed a bit earlier, that game gets a bit easier because they could have nicked one at the end there. So credit to them with 10 men, they kept fighting. But in general, I think we had more of the play. And um, we weren't at our best, but I, I thought we were better tonight. You had a couple of good chances there as well. Could have been a couple more. I think in the second half, we had our best chances. Yeah, Big J had a good couple of chances. I think Toddy, there was a few players there. I think we just had decision making in that last third in front of the box. Probably could have been a little bit better. Um, but I'm glad that we're making the chances. The next step is now to make sure we finish them so then games uh, don't go all the way to the wire. So the loss ends the season for Central Coast FC. Bankstown City progressing from the elimination final, whilst in the other semi-final, the Northern Tigers prevailed over Hakoa City City East, three goals to nil. Well, that sets up week two of the finals next weekend in the men's two. Bankstown City will face Hakoa Sydney City East, while Spirit FC take on the Northern Tigers to see who is the first team into the grand final. That's all we have time for this week in the New South Wales men's two. Join us next week for more finals action. Until then, I'm Adam Santarossa. Bye for now.